friends through this presentation i am going to explain you how to estimate nickel by dt method chemicals required for this experiment are 0.01 molar edt solution 0.01 molar zinc sulfate solution ereochrome black tea indicator buffer solution of ph10 solution containing nickel mirexide indicator or it also called as ammonium perpurate the apparatus required for this burette conical flask pipette volumetric flask wattman filter paper number 41 and balance procedure for the standardization of edt solution for this we have to find out the exact molarity of edt solution then wash the burette with distilled water and rinse it with edt solution fill the burette up to the mark with the help of 0.01 molar edt solution then pipette out 10 ml of 0.01 molar zinc sulfate solution in a titration flask then add 10 ml of buffer solution of ph10 into the zinc sulfate solution then add 5 drops of ereochrome black tea indicator then the solution becomes wine red in color titrate the same solution with the help of edt solution for that we have to run the edt solution from the burette drop wise into the titration flask then the solution in a titration flask is a wine red color then it becomes a blue that is the end point of titration here the burette reading is 10.5 ml repeat the same procedure and take three more readings to get a constant burette reading the reaction is shown there how that indicator changes the color the solution in burette is 0.01 molar approximate edt solution in pipette is 0.01 molar zinc sulfate we have taken 10 ml here indicator is ereochrome black tea indicator end point is wine red to blue observation table is here in this we get the constant burette reading 10.5 ml then calculation of exact molarity of edt edt is equal to zinc sulfate that is m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 we have to calculate the exact molarity of edt m1 that's why m2 v2 upon v1 m2 is the molarity of zinc sulfate it is 0.01 molar into v2 that is taken 10 ml upon v1 it is a constant burette reading 10.5 ml that is equal to 0.0095 molar therefore the exact molarity of edta is equal to 0.0095 molar then part b is estimation of nickel for that again fill the burette with the help of 0.01 molar edta solution up to the mark then the solution is given in the examination that solution you have to dilute with the help of distilled water up to the 100 ml then make that solution homogeneous and then transfer into the beaker then pipette out 10 ml of this diluted solution in a conical flask then add 10 ml of buffer solution then add a pinch of mirexide indicator then that solution becomes yellow in color then titrate the same solution with the help of 0.01 molar edt solution then run the edt solution drop wise into the solution at that time the yellow solution becomes violet that is the end point of titration here we got the reading 15.5 ml take two more readings to get constant burette reading observation solution in a burette is 0.01 molar edt solution by pipette is diluted solution of nickel indicator is mirexide end point lo2 violet here the 10 ml solution we have taken of diluted nickel in a titration flask the constant burette reading we got 15.5 ml then calculation estimation of nickel 1000 ml of 1 molar edta is equal to 58.71 g of nickel therefore y ml of m1 edta is equal to y into m1 into 58.71 divided by 1000 g of nickel that is equal to a g of nickel here y is equal to 15.5 15.5 ml 
and molarity of EDTA is 0.0095 it is calculated into 58.71 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0 0.0086 gram of nickel. This means that the 10 ml diluted solution contains 0 0.0086 gram of nickel. Therefore, 100 ml of diluted solution of nickel contains 10 into A that is 10 into 0 0.0086 is equal to 0 0.086. This means that the amount of nickel in the given solution is 0.086 gram of nickel. Then we have to write the result. In this, molarity of EDTA is find out that is 0.0095 molar. Then the amount of nickel in the given solution is 0.086 gram. In this way, we have to perform the estimation of nickel by EDTA method this experiment. Thanks for watching.